let him know. Shall we do a little cam back here? Yes, ma'am. Um, well, I just need to know who I speak to uh, concerning this uh, ramp right here, or the lack thereof, right here where you, where everybody comes in. Um, trying to figure out if you guys had any plans to put a handicap accessible ramp here. Yes, sir. We're going to do that. If that that's in the works. Uh, who, who is it that I can talk to Can I about? get your name and number, sir? Yes, yes ma'am. My name is Jack Miller. Yeah. Uh, Jack, J-A-C-K. Uh-huh, Miller, M-I-L-L-E-R. I have, I have a business card if you like. Okay, Today we're at VMS, number. Vehicle Management Solutions Incorporated, at 1431 West Comal Street in San Antonio, Texas. The phone number for this business is 210-227-7379. This is one of the facilities that the uh, City of San Antonio, and Bear County, and law enforcement agencies use to impound vehicles. They also impound vehicles here if you violate parking lot rules, i.e. if you park in a public parking lot that requires payment and you don't pay. They'll tow your vehicles here. So we're here today to figure out if there's any plans to, to provide a handicap accessible improvement right here because this is where you come to conduct your business. You walk inside this gate here after ringing the bell underneath the camera here. Then you're allowed inside this gate and you walk up a ramp to this building here where there's a window where you conduct your business. This is the only entrance and exit for pedestrians. And as you can see, it's very unimproved. Right here, there's a cement ledge, gravel, and then right here is a big hump right in the center of the screen. Go ahead and show them how the, how the hump works there. You might not be able to see it clearly in the camera, but he's going to step up onto that hump. So here's your street. Here's all your gravel. So he's demonstrating how high that uh, cement ledge is. And then can you step off of that dirt mound for me? Yeah. So this is stepping down off of that dirt mound. And then what you have is just uh, some unimproved gravel here to park on um, but anyway that's your accessible so um, I can tell you just by standing here looking at it that would certainly be a problem for somebody in a motorized scooter uh, somebody in a, a manually operated wheelchair and you know if you're if you're coming up here and you know it, there's this common misconception that people in wheelchairs and stuff don't drive and are not independent and that's just not the case uh, there are independent folks out there that are, that are in wheelchairs so if somebody comes up here being independent they're gonna have a hard time negotiating this uh, obstacle. So uh, I'm not sure about all the ADA laws and stuff, but I'm sure that they need to have some kind of improvement here to help out folks with disabilities, um, being that they're doing business with the public on behalf of the city. We've uh, talked to somebody uh, by the name of Megan. As you can see, we did uh, ask about if they have any uh, plans for improvement here. Um, the girl didn't know and don't expect her to, I guess. She's probably just a front office worker. She did say that she would give my information to her boss. Uh, we're going to continue to work and, and make sure that they do, in fact, have plans for an improvement here. They're not just telling us they do when they don't. Uh, and then we'll also, uh, we might look into see, you know, what, what kind of uh, qualifications does the city have when they contract 
with people to do business with the public, are they required to have things like improvements for handicap access?